I do not want to tell that story again. I don't even want to do bits and pieces of it. Fucking over it. Malika and I sat down and um, Charlemagne asked us if we wanted something to drink. Malika took a drink, but I told him I was fine. I didn't want to drink. Um, but it's like he kept pressuring me to drink. He was like... This is where Charlemagne gave Malika and I the drinks. He himself made those drinks. He told me that I could trust him. I was like his sister. He would let nothing happen to me that night. He repeatedly asked me over and over and over if I wanted to drink. And even after telling him no several times, he still pressured me. I finally took a drink. Now, mind you, I'm 15 years old. I'm a child. I'm a minor. I'm being pressured into drinking by someone who I thought I could trust. I let my guards down, and I said, you know what? This is my friend. He won't let anything happen to me. And he betrayed me. He allowed his friends or cousins or whoever those guys were to take advantage of me, and he himself took advantage of me as well. He brought me here and left me here. All right, good evening. This is the Star Report. My name is Star. I'm your host, and I have uh, Malika Joyner on the line with me, the friend and relative of Jessica Reed, who was indeed raped uh, in 2001 in South Carolina at a party where Leonard McKelvey, also known as Charlemagne, did take a plea to uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. But Malika, you have come forward, you contacted me, and you want to tell yeah. you want to tell what you saw? I mean, let, let's just get right to it. You, what, what did you see that... Um, well, okay, we can get right to it. Um, we were offered drinks. Um, there was something in the drink. He went in the kitchen, made a drink for me, I took the drink, and I sat next to Malika, and I was drinking my drink, and she was just about done with hers. Um, she just, out of the blue, started throwing up. And the funny thing about it was, after she was throwing up, he kept asking her, or trying to give her more drinks, and she was like, you know, I can't drink anymore. You know, because I didn't know who, who he was, you know, on the radio. That was my first time ever meeting him. I was introduced to Jessica. I, I knew nothing about him. I was basically going there. She asked me if I would like to go with her. So I said, yeah, I'll go with you, right. you know. So um, I, I didn't know him at all prior to this event occurring. I didn't know who he was. I sat my cup down, and I just said, okay, I started feeling... I started feeling weird. And I said, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. This is what I told myself. And when I got up to go to the bathroom, I fell to the floor. I couldn't move my legs. I couldn't move my arms. It's like I had no control over my limbs. I could see and I could hear, but I couldn't move. So... I heard the guys in the back and they were laughing and Charlemagne was laughing. And um, he told them to take me upstairs. Taken upstairs by two guys, one named Larry and one named Boo, who took me into a bathroom and violated me and took advantage of me. Charlemagne allowed these guys to take me upstairs. In fact, he told them to take me upstairs. After giving me a drink with a drug in it, I got up off the couch and I couldn't even move. I collapsed to the floor and all he could do was laugh. He didn't ask if I was okay. He didn't help me up. He laughed. 
So he took me upstairs, and then he took me into the bathroom. I did see two people escort her upstairs, but I, like I said, I myself was so, I was throwing up and so forth. I was out of it too, but I was still able to know what was, you know, able to see and hear what was going on. But it was like everything for me was slow motion. But she was escorted up, up the stairs with two gentlemen. Okay. They took me upstairs and took me into the bathroom. And I don't know if I can do this. They took me upstairs and took me into the bathroom. And they had my arms like this. One was here and one was here. And they were holding me up because I, I couldn't hold myself up. And I had a dress on. I had one arm like this, and Larry was holding me up. And Boo had this other arm, but with his other hand, he was just forcing his fingers in my vagina. And I was just, just sitting there helpless. I couldn't do nothing. At any point, were you in the room together with uh, with Jessica when she was being raped? Or were you, were you in another room and you came no. in? How did that play out? No, she was upstairs. I was downstairs. Okay. When they were finished, they just left me in the bathroom and I fell to the floor. And I was just laying on the floor crying. I was just laying there. And then somebody came to the bathroom picked me up and put me in the bedroom. They left me in the bedroom, closed the door behind them. I don't know how long I was laying there for, but Larry ended up coming in the bedroom. He came in, he got on the bed, and he started to rub his penis on my body. And all I could do at the time was just try to roll around on the bed. And I was rolling until I eventually fell off the bed. I don't know. I don't even know how I got back onto the bed. I don't even know. But he left. And then Charlemagne came into the room. And I saw Charlemagne's face with my own eyes. When he opened that door, I saw his face. I saw his face. I heard his voice while he was raping me. There's nothing that nobody can say. And started taking off my clothes. And started talking to me in the process. And he kept saying things like, I told you I was going to take care of you and nothing was going to happen to you. But 
because I was throwing up, I was not, I was still co coherent. I was still able to, you know, I was still aware of my surroundings. So okay. he couldn't really, he gave up with me, you know. Ariel Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I got this girl real drunk. And, um, I fought, we just fought. that sentence sounds a little I fishy. I, I'm I not, got her drunk. I, 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 I didn't just get her drunk. I remember going, I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish Fly. Oh, so you raped her? Shut up. <laughs> Spanish Fly. <laughs> in, they sell it in the sex store. You, I, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the Spanish store. I had to fucking, I had to fucking spell it in the sex store. sex store, too. You could put that to a girl's throat yeah, in the sex store. That doesn't mean it's illegal. So I put the Spanish Fly in the ENJ. We drinking the ENJ and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I felt like I got horny as a motherfucker, too. <laughs> 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 so, she, so, so she was drunk as shit and we had sex and shit and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck her i'm like nah she like i can't i'm not doing that and i'm like let you run the train on it that's right yeah. okay so, <laughs> right. so this so, is one-on-one -on -one, it ain't right yeah so the next trains are right so the next morning she wakes up the next morning she wakes up and um we talk about it and she's like what happened I'm like we had sex she said, okay, well, I'm glad it was you. Then a couple days later, she's like, yo, are you sure I only had sex with you? <laughs> and one of my stupid-ass cousins was going around saying he fucked her, which he did. I, okay. I know for a fact he did. Okay. I was dead the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He did not fuck her. Yeah. He looked at her naked, but he didn't fuck her, <laughs> right? So, 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 I'm telling her, no, me and you just had sex. Nobody else did nothing. So it just was weird that she was like, well, I'm just glad it was you. You know what I'm saying? Because in my mind, I'm like, yo, you could have been in a real bad situation if it was another That's a motherfucker there. a compliment, man. A girl just said, yo, <laughs> at least you raped me. I didn't rape her. <laughs> I, did I did not rape her. I did not rape her. If it was any of your cousins or friends who would have been raped, but you I didn't rape her because me and her had every intention of having sex with each other. So then why would you put the Spanish fly? I was a freaky, I'm still a freaky motherfucker, but I was a really, I was, I, listen, my Wait, whole. Was she passed out while you fucked her? Nah, she wasn't like. She was like one of those drunks where, <laughs> no, listen, no, she was one of those drunks where, like, she was one of those drunks, but she was like, oh, like, co she wasn't coherent, but she was up. You know when your girl's just, like, when you're blacked out, like that, don't know what the fuck's going on type shit, like, she was really, she was a little, so, for those who don't know, Charlemagne the God is a well-known TV guys can hear me now come on in come on in let's retag everybody come on in come on in come on in come on in can you got i was having a little trouble with sound earlier can you hear me before I go in, I need to know y'all can hear me. Okay, cool. So, I don't know if you guys watched my last live, but I aired the audio of Jessica Reed's story about Charlemagne raping her. Um, Pretty much, pretty much, um, Charlemagne meets this girl through a mutual friend. She is only 15, by the way. Um, this is 17 years ago and, uh, that this occurred. So he meets this girl. Uh, she's 15. He befriends her for about like a month and a half. They build this chemistry of what she thought was like a brother sister relationship. Um, he met her mom, um, the mom liked him and, um, it was all, I guess, whatever. Um, he was told her he was 20, but he was really 22 at the time. So what he does is one afternoon, he invites her to uh, a party, takes her to this party. She invites her best friend, uh, her best friend to go with her. Um, they get to the party. You know, it's a whole bunch of niggas there. No other girls. Actually, she said there's two other girls, but they're in the back. And they seem like some, like, I guess, thoughts, uh, as you would call them now. Anyway, um, 
So they were sitting on the couch. The um, Charlemagne offered these two little girls some drinks. They denied it. They offered, offered, offered. They eventually took it. He put a drug in a drink. You feel me? He put a drug in a drink. They started throwing up, getting all wheezy. They couldn't feel their limbs and they couldn't walk and all of this good stuff, whatever the case may be. And um, he takes Jessica up. Well, he has two of his friends take Jessica upstairs. Take Jessica, the two friends, take her to the bathroom, finger her in the bathroom. Mind you, she's 15 years old. You feel me? Finger her and violate her in the bathroom. Not only do they violate her in the bathroom, but they leave her there in the bathroom. Then she makes her way to the bedroom where another nigga comes in and starts to put his shit all over her body trying to, you know, have sex with her as well. She kind of scoots away for what she can because, mind you, she is drugged. You feel me? Uh, she tries to scoot away so much so, uh, so much so that she falls off the bed. You feel me? So, when she falls off the bed, the guy leaves. You feel me? Somehow, she says she didn't remember how she got back on the bed, but somehow she got back on the bed, and that's when Charlemagne came in. Charlemagne, the guy we all know from Breakfast Club, one on one forty five. I, to be honest with you, this is it, it, it was really crazy for me to hear because I fucks with the Breakfast Club heavy. You feel me? That's my home, well Jersey, but you know I, I listen to one on five point one. That's that's our station. You feel me? So it, it's crazy to know this. You know what I mean? But. He came in, started kissing on her, and really took advantage of her. Actually had sex with her, raped her. I'm not even going to say have sex. He raped her, you feel me? And not only did he rape her, but he tried to justify it by whispering in her ear, talking about some, I told you I'll take care of you type of shit, whatever the case may be. Boom. Then comes the Brilliant Idiots video, where if y'all don't know what the Brilliant Idiots video uh podcast is is a podcast where uh charlemagne the god produces and is with this other guy this other white guy so they're talking about it mind you and they're joking about it it's funny it's it's, it's a key key so in that video mind you, you can catch all this in the live that i just had previously um he admits it to where they're talking about that he drugged now this is charlemagne's words out of his mouth talking Talking about, oh yeah, I I drug, you know, I put um, Spanish fly. For y'all don't know what Spanish fly is, that is a a, a intensity pill for sex, you know, like a, a ecstasy pill for sex, though. And um, he was like, I got, I put a Spanish fly in her drink and gave her the alcohol, whatever. She wasn't coherent, mind you. He said that the other guys didn't rape her, but he didn't either. But but his reasoning for not raping, the reasoning of why he feels like he did not rape her. Wait, listen. The reason why he feels like he did not rape her is because everybody else didn't have sex with her. Because they didn't run a train on her. Mind you, he talked about how she was blacked out. She wasn't coherent. But he still made his way with her. Why? Because he was freaky. That that was his That was his thing. Because he was freaky as hell. Mind you, she's 15 years old. You feel me? You getting her drunk. That's already number one bad, bad thing. Number two, you drugged her. You had niggas running trains on her and doing whatever types of nigga, all this shit like that. And even if that's not true and you, it, and it is just you because you just, you did admit it for yourself. You feel me? So even if it's not true with the other guys, you're going to say, you're going to talk about, oh, well, I did not rape her because we didn't run a train on her. We consented to sex beforehand, before we got to the party, but she was blacked out or coherent when we had sex. My nigga, that's rape. My nigga, that's rape. You hear me? That's fucking rape. She didn't give you kiss. I don't give a fuck if she told you she wanted to fuck you up and down or whatever the case may be. While she was drunk and drugged, she was raped by you. Period. That's period. She was raped by you. Charlemagne the God is out here. And you know what killed me? What killed me is they laughing about all of it. They're laughing about all this shit like it's funny. Oh, no, <laughs> I didn't rape her. No, I didn't rape her. I didn't rape her. Whatever the case may be. But 
You're admitting to it, and I don't understand why he's not locked the fuck up right the fuck now. We're talking about R. Kelly, and we're doing all this stuff, and he had the nerve to be on the fucking documentary talking about some mute R. Kelly. I've been knew he was a monster. I've been knew he was doing this and down the third. Yet he still, I, I, I'm blown the fuck away. I'm blown the fuck away, for real, for real. Like, it is so fucking sad. It is so fucking sad. And because he's he he he's lawyered up and he got all this fucking money and all this shit like that, he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do and he can live his life and you know he's grew over the seventeen years. You feel me? He's who he is now. You know the world knows him now. Before only the tri-state area knew him. Yo, these sick ass fucking men. And the thing about it is, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of your favorite artists, our favorite artists, favorite people, the people that is it, it, all the fucking front. And I, 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 I cannot support. I cannot support. If I'm going to mute R. Kelly and take him out my library and make sure that I don't I don't support him, I cannot support Charlemagne. And any other person that I know is deals with pedophilia or any type of like rape, my nigga. You raped Jessica Reed. Jessica Reed's story needs to be out there because he is out here living his best life and nobody is saying nothing about it please share this fucking live like seriously if you're going to share any of my lives share this live share it share it share it share it share it for real for real because we're not talking about it and it's time that we have to talk about it. and it's sad that it has to come for this for all this shit to start coming out and all or whatever the case may be but it's real it's real and the reason why shit is coming out now is not because they didn't want to do it then or 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 they lying and so they just trying to it's because we live in a better a, a better day. I, I overheard some you know somebody told me um it's you know this world is too sensitive but maybe it's a good thing that we're too sensitive nowadays because we're catching shit that we allowed to happen before that we're not allowing we failed jessica we failed all the r kelly survivors we we failed them as a culture as a society as a, as 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 not only the black community but us as human beings period like these are children you know what i mean our children are you kidding me and everybody that is still in support of them like i i cannot i i can't it pisses I, i'm blocking a lot of fucking people i blocked maybe like 15 people already going down my damn timeline when i see some fucking foolery and fuckery that's going on talking about some oh i don't care what anybody says i'm still gonna listen to r kelly i'm still gonna do this i'm through that i don't got time for the bullshit i don't need time for the negative shit and you are just as sick as he is period Period. You are just as sick as he is because if you can tolerate that, because you know what? Y'all don't care until it's you or your family or your daughter or your sister. Then you're going to care. That I, I can't I can't stand either some of the celebrities, you know, what I mean, even, you know, not to broadcast anybody, but even like Tammy Roman. She was like, oh, I don't know how to feel because, you know, I'm not going to take out this and this song because it's a staple in my life and stuff like that. You know, he's a, a talented musician. I don't know how to feel about it. What you mean you don't know how to feel about him fucking... F I, it, it pisses... How, what do you mean that you don't know what it feels like or how to feel about him molesting and having these sex codes with these children? Like, that is re fucking ridiculous to me. You should know how to feel because if it was your daughter, if it was your daughter, I'm sure you'd be wanting to blow his fucking house up. That's what I don't understand. Nobody cares until it's you or your or your situation. I don't know. I don't know what the situation is to blame the parents. I don't know what the situation is to do blame anybody else but R. Kelly and Charlemagne the God and anyone that was around that tolerated, accepted, or helped the situation. They are to blame. Period. Period. Please share this live. I need everyone that is watching right now to share this live. It is very important that we get these words out about not only R. Kelly, like we're talking about R. Kelly and it's good. We need to keep talking about it. Don't let it fade away. Don't let something new 
distract you from what's really going out, what was really going on out here. For real, for real. We need to stop Charlemagne. We need to stop anybody. And we need to really start putting our foot down and realizing what it is going on. And not just with the molestation with these kids and the rape and stuff like that, but with everything. Like, it's fucking crazy out here. Somebody wrote in the comments that it's, 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 you know, end of days. I really believe that because the, like, y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Y'all motherfuckers are crazy as fuck. I don't understand how you, you. Charlamagne got had the nerve to be on the fucking documentary with fucking R. Kelly. Talk about he's a sick bastard. He gave R. Kelly donkey of the day. They've been talking about it on Breakfast Club. Like, and up to when I found this video and I heard about this, because I never knew about it. Had I known before, it would have been a done deal before. And with R. Kelly, I, I really never listened to R. Kelly anyway. Yeah, he has some great songs. You know what I mean? Everyone knows some songs. You know, you got songs that he, you know, he done that you don't even, you know, just because it's, it's, it is a staple. But that music doesn't trump raping kids music doesn't trump having sex coat and doing all of that like that doesn't trump all of that i don't understand y'all pick and choose who the fuck y'all want to hate and love i don't understand y'all y'all pick and choose y'all villains y'all pick and choose y'all heroes and y'all make no sense in why they are it because of solely because of his music are you kidding me because of i believe i can fly I believe I can fly and do shit for my motherfucking life. I believe I can fly and put no fucking bit, no fucking checks in my pocket. They put nothing, didn't do nothing, but gave me a good tune to listen to in my motherfucking ear. Just like a hundred other motherfucking staple songs that's out there. Mm, 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 mm. I, mm, mm. It's crazy. I need y'all, if y'all did not watch my last live, to go watch it and listen to the Jessica Ree story. It's only a 12-minute uh, video. It's not long. 12, it, the first, like, six minutes is Jessica Ree, and the last six minutes is Charlamagne admitting to raping her, but also saying that he did not rape her while having sex with her while, he was black, while she was blacked out and drugged and drunk that that he did to her. I'm pissed as fuck. Yes, I am pissed. It's, it, Cause it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and, and the crazy thing about it is they don't even have us fooled. They're not hiding it. They're not acting like, like they're out in the open. They just, they're cocky as fuck. They're not hiding shit. He's Charlamagne said she was not coherent. She was in that blacked out stage and he had sex with her. Then proceeds to say, then proceeds to say that next morning she said, oh, did we have sex? And she, she said, no, she said, what happened to you? What happened last night? He said, oh, yeah, we had sex. Oh, I, oh, I thank God it was you. That means she didn't even know she had. Are you? She didn't even know she had sex. Thank God it's you. And because of that, he thinks he did not rape her. That's like saying, like the the guy said in the video. That's like saying, that's like your homegirl or your homeboy stealing from you, but he gives it back. And, and then you forgive him. So you're like, okay, it's, it's fine. It is what it is. That doesn't just take away that he fucking stole from you. Regardless if he gives it back, regardless if you okay with it or not, he still stole from you. You people getting cheated on. He still cheated on you and you still back, right? Doesn't stop that he cheated on you, that you forgave him or her. So why are they not a rapist? Why are they not who they are? Like, I don't understand. He's the Pied Piper. Y'all know who the fucking Pied Piper is? The story of the Pied Piper? The story of the Pied Piper, he lured little kids out the village, bitch. What are you... 
They tell it on themselves. They tell it on themselves. What's going on? They tell it on themselves. Charlemagne the God. Mute Charlemagne the God. Mute Charlemagne the God. Mute Charlemagne the God. Mute Charlemagne the God. Period. 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 What's going on is once you leave this live, go to my last live. My last live showed Jessica Reed story. Jessica Reed is a, well, she's older now, but when she was 15, was raped by Charlemagne the God. Charlemagne the God has admitted to raping her, but says that he did not rape her because his boys did not run the train on him and they consented to before he drugged her and raped her. But he definitely said that he put Spanish fly, which is a, is a, a sex ecstasy that enhances your feelings and your hormones, but is a drug. He, he admitted of putting that in his, in the drink and giving it to a 15 year old girl, then having sex with her while she was blacked out and and not um, not coherent. This is all out of his mouth. I'm not saying that. It's not an accusation. This is out of his mouth. The next morning, apparently, out of his mouth, she says, oh, what happened? He says, oh, yeah, we had sex. She says, oh, I'm glad it was you. That's not rape. That's not rape. That's rape, boo. That's rape. That's rape. 15 years old. He was what? I think he was 22 at the time. He raped that girl. According to her story, so did three other people. So did three other people. But he says it was only him. And because it was only him, and because it was only him, it wasn't rape. Mind you, this is out of his mouth. Out of his mouth. And then they're laughing about it. Y'all can all watch it. It's on my last live. Go back and watch it. The first six minutes is Jessica Reed. The last six minutes is Charlemagne admitting to it. Are you fucking kidding me? And got the nerve to be on R. Kelly's fucking documentary calling him sick. These motherfuckers got me fucking, Lord, please share this live, share this live for the people who support me and my show. We muting this motherfucker. We are muting this motherfucker, period. Period. Mute, mute, mute. He no longer exists. And it's sad because I love the Breakfast Club. I don't love them that much. You hear me? I don't love them that much. There's other talk shows. There's other radio stations. Look, I found a newfound love with Lonnie B. So I could listen to him every damn day now. Fuck Charlemagne. Fuck R. Kelly. And fuck whoever else is out here. Like... Seriously, seriously, this drives me nuts. I'm pissed. I am pissed. I'm pissed. I'm pissed because it's sad because all we do is 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 congratulate and, and help these people succeed and get to the standard. Because the reason why R. Kelly is not locked up right now is because of us. Because of us. That's why 15 and in counting people are blocked on my motherfucking page because I cannot deal with the fuckery. I will not deal with the fuckery. Keep R. Kelly if you want to. You don't got to comment on it, though. You don't got to be like, I don't care what's going on, but I'm keeping R. Kelly block. Not unfriend, block. Because there's no need for you, period, to exist to me. Block. You hear me? And don't stop talking about R. Kelly. 
Don't let this fade away. Don't stop talking about Charlemagne. Don't let this fade away. Don't let it fade away. Something has to be done. Period. Something has to be done. Period. Thank you guys for watching. My mouth is dry as fuck. My throat is scratchy. I'm pissed. And I'm going to get off of here now. I ain't gonna talk. I ain't gonna be ranting and raving no more. But I ain't gonna stop talking about it. You hear me? I love y'all. Peace.